Steve Kerr and Kevin Harlan. The Mavericks hoping to give a strong showing here for their home crowd. Still trying to find that groove they had last year. They'd like to grab hold of some new momentum and get closer, Steve, to where they were a season ago. The home fans really will get an opportunity to see their favorite team during this long home stand. Yeah, and they're going to want to give those fans something to cheer about right away. But this is a big one for them here today. Establish the home court and build some, some confidence. So here's Miami starting for Nick Roberts at the four. The boss at center. On the perimeter, Wade and Dang. And it's Colt. And it's point guard. Well, it's been said about Rajon Rondo that he's the smartest guy in the room and also might be the most stubborn. He's got a terrific IQ for the game, but he's opinionated. We've seen him butt heads with coaches in high school, college, and the pros, but that certainly doesn't take away from his greatness. He's a winner, a champion, a terrific point. Well, you're right. It has fueled his rise. Whether it was a Kentucky going up in Louisville or certainly playing with the Boston Celtics. Among some very important players, Hall of Famers, and Garnett, and, Garnett and Paul Pierce. He made it up just to kind of clear the coverage. And Chandler throws it down. start here for the Heat. Six-point game. Coming off that win against Minnesota. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent, but hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. And here's Rondo. Following the score by Lou Alden. An easy layup after coming off the pit. Rondo's got his first points of the game. This is shooting 80% so far. I know it's early, yeah, but offensively, they look great. Off they go on a three-on-one break. Deflects the pass. Wade with it. 20 points for him last game against Minnesota. It wasn't just offense either, Kevin. And he was so disruptive defensively. I don't remember how many steals he had, but, man, he was dominant. Out there. Rondo misses the chippy right there. Miami, they've gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Novitsky with it. He's picked up by Dank. Shoots a three. Again, Rondo missing. The Heat trailed by four. Well, two seasons ago, the Heat were rolling. They won a fan franchise record 66 games. 27 of those came consecutive. Last season, they managed they managed the regular season. They knew they had to face themselves in an effort to try to win the third straight championship. And here's Rondo after the three moments ago from Lou Aldet. Here's Parsons. He picked up 18 points in the last one against Utah. And last season, I'd say, guys, the Heat more or less just conceded that number one seed to the Pacers. Yeah, almost like a marathon runner. You know, they just didn't want to burn out early, so they just kind of found their pace throughout the season. And they weren't worried too much about the home seed. They were concerned more with their own health. And I thought Eric Spolster handled all of those dynamics perfectly. And the Mavericks making a change here. Aminu's checked in. Intelligent passing there to make that hoop possible. Rondo. And he banks in the lane. Well, some weak defensive coverage there. And I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving such easy access to the room. Cole, oh, shot is good. Well, nice way there to get your first basket of the game. Dallas has gone 0-2 from deep here. Side Rondo. Using his post moves to get the two points. Rondo's got six. Well, this quarter has gone awfully well for him. It seems like every chance he's gotten, he's pretty much converted. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Ajan Rondo returning to action in mid-January of 2014, a little less than a year after his ACL tear. And Stevie looked pretty good. He did. His shooting percentages were down, but you know, rebounding and passing uh, as well as he ever has. And Rondo, I think this year will be much more effective now that he's he's got some reps back on that team. And there's the call on Felton. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Napier. Coming in off a 12-point game his last outing. Chalmers 
This is to Granger. Goes back up. In deep, Bosch chops it in. Nice back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> this could be a, a back and forth game all the way, guys. The way it's being played. This is fun to watch. No hesitation at all on that alley. You saw his teammate with the path to the hoop and bang. Lobbed it right up there for him. And he was ready for it. Can't you saw the results? And I like the, the choice, making a conservative finish, making sure of the two points. Here's Chalmers after Richard Jefferson's basket. It's Bosch that time in the assist by Chalmers. Bosch has got his second basket of the game. And Rondo's field goal percentage dipped, but he shot a lot more three pointers than ever before in his career. Coming off that injury, maybe not looking to drive as much as in the past. That three point shot at about 29%. I think he's got to get that mark up if he does. And he could really do it. Now, here is Haslam. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. That's good. That's pretty much been the norm for them. Getting their points off assist. A great ball move. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. And so here is Dallas after the Heat pickup, too. Chandler outside. Possession. Boy, that pass was in the air a long time. Long enough for him to get a finger on it anyway and send it out of bounds. Offensive rebound. Aminu. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Udonis Hesley. The Mavericks shooting their first free throws here tonight. Two free throws for Aminu. There's 14 seconds left from the first quarter. Napier passes to Granger. From the baseline, Chandler with the block. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense is not going to allow me to use the layup. That'll make you earn it from the line. Miami shooting their first free throws of the game. They're a very average shooting team in terms of the free throw line. About 76% a year ago. There's not a lot you can say that hasn't been said before about his skill at the charity shop. 